represent the following data in a box plot and calculate the range and interquartile range. Well, the first step, I have to sort it. One, two, three, three. Five, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, now to draw a box plot, I have to find a five number summary. That's the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, the maximum. Well, the median's in the middle, it must be the five. Oops. The minimum and maximum are easy. Now the quartiles. This is the median. It's not halfway between two scores, it is that score. And being the median, that means it's not in the lower half and it's not in the upper half. So let's work on that basis. The lower half then has only four scores. So the lower quartile is halfway between those two, there. Which means the lower quartile is two and a half. The upper quartile is in the middle of these four scores. That means it's here, halfway between those two. The upper quartile is six and a half. Now I have my five number summary. One, 2.5, 5, 6.5, 8. Let's draw a box plot. We start with an axis. We have to go from one up to eight. From one up to eight. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. So to, board, yeah, to draw the box and whisker plot, I'm gonna put marks at each of those. One, Two and a half, five, six and a half, and eight. And then all I have to do is join them up. Join up the box in the middle, and draw whiskers out to the minimum and the maximum value. Oops, I made it messy. Just like that. Okay, have I finished answering the question yet? No, because I have to find the range and the interquartile range. Well, the range is easy. It's just the maximum minus the minimum, which is eight minus one. You can read it straight off the box and whisker plot. Eight minus one, which is seven. And the interquartile range is just the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Again, you can go back here or you can read them straight off the box plot. Six and a half minus two and a half, which is four. Easy. Next example, same question, different numbers. Represent the following data in a box plot and calculate the range and interquartile range. First step, sort the data. Sorting four, five, six, range four. Now, uh, what have I got next? Oh, two fives, my mistake. Four, five, five, six. Okay, four, five, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay, median. Well, we can do the minimum and the maximum too because they're easy. That's my minimum. That's my maximum. The median is in the centre, which puts it halfway here. The median is halfway between six and nine, which makes it seven and a half. What about the quartiles? Well, the median, seven and a half, 
is not a score. That means that the lower half is everything up to that point. So the median, sorry, the median of the lower half is going to be halfway here. Well, halfway between five and five is just five. Lower quartile is five. Again, the median is not in the split set of scores. So the upper half here, the upper quartile is halfway here. That makes it halfway from 10 to 12, which is 11. I've got my five number summary. 4, 5, 7 and a half, 11, 14. So let's draw my box on this plot. I need a scale going from 4 to 14. Oh, let me see. Oh, not going to fit. Okay. Let's be clever. So, one, two, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty. Put the numbers on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Mark off the points that I know, four, five, seven and a half, eleven, and fourteen. And then rule up the box. And then add on the whiskers. Have I finished answering the question? No, not yet. I need the range and the interquartile range. The range is the maximum value minus the minimum value. Well, that's going to be 14 minus 4. You can read it off there if you'd rather. 14 minus 4, which is 10. And the interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Well, that's 11 minus 5, we'll read it off the graph, which is 6. Very easy, no problem.